Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Factorio. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Factorio. Uh, today, we're going to rearrange our base a little bit. I am not happy with the layout currently. Uh, it's really bothering me in the game I play with my brother that um, we've just got belts going everywhere and I can easily see that starting to happen right now. Um, so what I intend to do is pick up these things. So my my goal, my idea for a good belt layout is this belt with the mix of iron and copper plates basically snakes through the entire production facility. Um, basically the entire way through the base. Um, and what we end up having is like maybe some tertiary construction like uh, the copper coils and the cogs which are um, you know required by a lot of technologies but um, what's it called not really useful on their own research. Green research takes, oh yeah, the transporters, and the, can I research something else that doesn't take green, takes green, takes green, 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 green. All right, uh, let's do physical projectile damage. There we go. Now we're, now we're working. We're gonna focus on that for now. So take all this stuff up. We are going to use not this area. We're going to start at this end and make uh, copper coils. Two for now should be fine. Power pole here and here. And we'll do copper coil. Copper coil. That takes just copper plates. In and out, in and out. Ooh, except they want to put them down on the outside. I forgot about that. I always forget about that. So instead, they're going to put them down like this. Yeah, they can put them down on the outside. These have to put them down on belts like this. I always forget that. This. And in. Copper coils. Alright, so they're going to make copper coils. That's peachy. So we basically have primary production. So now, in order to make green research, we need armatures and belts. Uh, belts take gears and iron. Armatures take gears, iron, and green circuits. So let's start with belts. So this is like our base production area, this area right here. This is our raw material production area down here. And this is starting to get into, this will be our research for now, this will be our red research area, so let's make a loop. Let's 
make a loop this way. This is not going to be where research is ultimately. So we're going to have this snake. Well, what we should actually do is have a research area over here. So we're going to do underground like this, belt like this. And we'll start like this. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Uh, this. I think we're gonna need green, so that's gonna come in from above. Yeah, so let's do this. This, and then this. This, yeah, let's fix this. So I want to maintain kind of a clear corridor, actually. So what I want to do is one of these, one of these, and then dive under. Like there, kind of like maintains a wider corridor. Uh, let's throw an ass ton of that in there. All right, and then really what we want to see is if this is the production belt, like so. And this goes like that. Then what we're going to end up with is this will be red, this will be coils and cogs. If we have a production machine, we need a space. And that means raw material belt. It's going to be like that. I'm out. So this is going to be green. This will end up being some stuff of some kind. Alright, so this is going to be belts. Oh uh, wait a minute. That's not what I that's not what I want to do. I don't want this. I'm picking up so many plates right now, it's ridiculous. What I wanna do instead is belt, belt, turn, belt. So, so this is this. So you've got cogs coming in and metals coming in. Right? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Do I have how many, how many cogs do I have? A lot. How many feel the seas coming on? Maybe I want to have it, like, putting, maybe I want to have it down here. Yeah, because I can move this, get this, get this, get this, yeah, get this, and this. Okay, so... Maybe I want to move it down a little bit so I can. Yeah. So let's just say you want another belt producer in the other. In the third one. And then we'll start it there. So you can have up to three right there. Green chips. Third time's a charm, right guys? Put that there, put that there, put this here. The electrical poles. Now this can go here. And that's how we have a divided belt. And we'll just do that little bump out every time we need to Yes, perfect. Alright, so now 
Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to have my... I want to have... Forget this. I want to have the output be directly into another producer. So this goes here. This is armatures, which takes plates and cogs. There's cogs, and there's plates. <clears throat> now I gotta do that. Now I gotta do... Now I gotta do an armature. An armature onto a belt that goes this way. Here's my mixed belt. Let's make some lights. It is dark up in here. Okay. So now we can pull from that production line if we need armatures or belts in the future, and let's talk about green research, which is both of those. So here's what we can do. They like to put on the far side of the belt, so I can run them all the way down here, and have green research over here. Whoops. Let's do that. And then green research is going to be right here. And this. And a long inserter. And a short. Like so. Let's just do the whole power thing. Power. Okay. All right, is this going to put it on the far side of the belt? Yes, it is. Sweet. All right, so we've got scalable green. We've got scalable red. We've got armatures and belts out the butt. We've got scalable belts as well. If we ever need it. And this thing is about to get green research as well. Sweet. Let's set up a box. Mm, let's hold off on that just for a second. All right. All right. So we've got this. We've got green research going. We're gonna need another one. Easy to do though. So we can just shove one down here. 
red taker like this and a putter like this green let's see here all right so that's green research red research taken care of we got arms we got belts Let's make a box for pulling belts off. I'll just put that here where this pop out is. Just do a quick one like that. And a thing like that. And I just want one stack of belts at a time. There we go. So that'll pull off belts. And I'll just manufacture arms as I go. Yeah, got power poles, got lights, got repair packs, got turrets. Okay. Let's talk about. Okay, got plenty of that ore. We're definitely gonna need copper ore at a certain point next. What do we want to build next? What do we want to automate? Uh, well, let's see here. Oh, you know what we should do? Get rid of that. Put this here. Nope, not there. Put it here. And pass stuff into it. Like so. Alright, I don't know why I picked that up. I'll do that. So this will literally pick that stuff up. And then... So the next research is going to have to come in on another axis, like north to south. But eventually, we're going to have another axis that has even more research on it. So. That. that, insert, and insert. There we go. <clears throat> Quadruple research! And eventually, oh, I need belts. Good thing I have this box. You know, Two stacks, please. So projectile damage. Alright, so that's good. Um, I would like AP rounds. I think they would be perfect. So we'll do that. <clears throat> Military too. So now we're using green. That's great. So eventually, what we'll have is another belt this way, and a belt that way. So that'll be two, four, six kinds of research, which is what there is, I think, right? Three, four, five, six. Artillery shell shooting speed. Yeah, so that's 
These things have one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six types. So this is the pattern that we're gonna end up with. So what's next per se? What do we need to automate? We need Well we're gonna need AP rounds. So that's down here. AP rounds, I think take regular rounds and oh steel I need steel production so steel where do I want steel to be steel has to be its own little belt right yeah so let's start by putting together a few of these, one, two, yeah, three, Put together three. Oh, I'm wearing light armor, can I have better armor? Have you ever steel plates? So I need steel production, which is going to be I need stone for a couple more furnaces. Stone, please. Oh, not stone blocks or stone bricks. I need just stone. This one. Thank you. One, two. That'll be enough for now. We'll do... Let's see here. These are completely backwards, like a schmuck. So we'll do We could run the belt all the way down this way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try running that belt. Oh, military two finishes. Uh, T Military Research. Gates. Stronger explosions, cliff explosives, logistics, solar. I would like to get into solar. Uh, circuit network, advanced material processing. That's a better forge, which would be good. Automation two would be good. Uh, electrical energy distribution would be good. Let's do the forge. Let's do that. So we will prep there. That's what we're doing with this. Here's the thing. We're going to have to loop it back eventually because... Like, the copper plates get used down here. There's really no point to having them all the way up here. Is there? I mean, I always just loop it back down and put it, what, here? Uh, I could loop it here. No. Do this, pick iron off, dump it around there. Yeah, I could do that. Let's see if we really need this like this. Alright, so we've got a far side of the belt. Yeah, please, sweet. Alright, so we've got scalable green, we've got scalable red, we've got iron chairs and belts out the butt. We've got scalable belts as well. If we ever need it. 
And iron back on the bell. So that's just going to recirculate all the materials as we put new ones on. So we need more copper. Not quite yet, though. Alright, green research is keeping up, but it probably needs more. Why? Because it takes longer. Green research. Uh, short arm. Pulling stuff out. Red arm. Putting stuff in. There's that. Uh, we can sub out the crummy forges for good ones later. So let's put some forges down. Electricity is not great. So I need another boiler. So I need plates. Where do I just have plates get pulled off again? Let's just have plates get pulled off here. Please, to a box. This is going to be two stacks of iron plates. Need more copper. You know what this means. Start with just a belt down the middle. 
cool. 20,000. more of those. I need iron plates. I think I know where to get those. I trust the iron plate box. Two stacks, please. Five more. Want to do it? Let's see, where's the iron ore? Iron ore is not keeping up either. <clears throat> Four, thirty. There. That. Let's go work on iron ore. All right. I'm being too stubborn with my settings here. Processing is done. That's our better forges, of course. Circuit network? No. Nope. Automation 2. I definitely want that. Engine solar. Kinda want I kinda want solar array. Let's do solar array. And we'll finish the wall out here too. great because I can like actually see the production. side of this, I guess. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. That's what I'll do. So, and actually, I can make better furnaces now, can't I? I need steel plate to do it, though. Give me all your steel. That happened. Stone bricks. That's what I need stone bricks for. Give me that. One, two, three. We're just gonna make them all. Because we're going to replace the furnaces, the primary furnaces with. This can go 
here, and here, and here. Get rid of those arms. There we go. And how much freaking iron are you taking, dude? Coal box. The issue is we still don't have too much ore. So we really just need more ore. How is this huge thing not enough ore? Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I mean, the cogs are barely being used, so they're not sucking up a plate. Where the heck is the plate getting sucked up? It's just getting sucked up in this box. Are we waiting for steel to be produced? Mm. Yeah, we just gotta make more ore. This and we can do another round over here. This and so oh, gotta make utility bowls. Here we go. Even more ore. Let's see if this helps. Alright, then what we should do is... Pollution 2 per minute versus... 4 per minute. So, twice as much pollution. Yay! Ooh, we are not... This is not going to be good. Not producing enough coal. We got to get coal going. Which I need iron plates for. Let's make a 
And have to run walls basically all the way up here, and over and down. Not a bad idea. Let's start doing it, I guess. I can always take them down later. What does it take to build a radar? Plates, go figure. I'll build two. Of the old beverage to wet my whistle. Let's put them down. We can do a radar right here for now. And I'm not sure if spreading them out actually does anything, but we can put one up here. there. Well, alright, well it at least does that. Let's do uh, let's do one more because I want to be able to see what goes on down on this corner of my base. Here's a radar. So there's my base. I can just encapsulate this whole uh, lake if I really wanted to. building up copper furnaces and yeah we still need to up the iron ore production how is that possible my feet half a second half per second it's all half per second Interesting. What did I make? I made... I can make AP rounds. Which take that plus copper plus steel. Ammo plus copper plus steel. So that's this build. Which means ammo needs to be up here. I'm gonna make AP rounds. I need. Okay, I'm gonna keep this stuff like this. Let's start with 
regular ammo. That's this. And you're gonna need iron plates. And you're gonna output it directly into another one. Make it go the other direction. Like, how much steel do you really, how many steel forges do you really think I need? Okay. Let's give a generous amount to future steel forges. Say this. Maybe produce the ammo. This there. And give it some power. Is this thing oh it's because we're low on power. And I need I need a boiler. Steam engine plates, so I need plates. Link. Give me another one of those. belt. We've got steel, which is going to come from this belt. Right, yep, steel. And we've got regular ammo coming from that belt. Wood. There. All right. And then you're gonna put this out where. I should keep that, shouldn't I? You could put this out... Let's see. I mean, you could put a break in the belt and then have the belt be... AP rounds. And move that break. That's actually not a bad idea. Except that then you'd have to move that. I think maybe it would be better served to do Nope, that doesn't work. 
we're going to have to do this. Archer, then Bell. Just to this for steel. I mean, shit, we got plenty of steel. So we can just move this if necessary, and this. We'll go like that. And that'll be AP rounds. We can go. It is 2 in the morning. I don't know what the heck happens to the time. I think I might be dumb. Just constantly... Dumbing it up over here. Staying up too late. I gotta wake up early. Alright guys, this is gonna have to be it. I'm just gonna up my ore production again, although I don't know why it's so low. I need belts to do that. Give me belts. All of them. Alright guys, this is going to have to be it for tonight. I will catch you next time on Factorio. Oh my gosh, this is, uh, man, a game that you can just sink endless hours into. Look at this base. we got primary production going through here. It's 
snaking through the secondary production area. Secondary production belts going all over the place. And primary production coming back and looping back around. Not bad. Ammo belt is looping around as well. Needs to be completed. But uh, yeah, we're gonna build this entire, fill this entire wall in with turrets. Get nice and protected in here. And uh, then start laying down some more uh, radars and stuff. Get the, some eyes in the sky and that kind of stuff. Start up in our game production line. So I'll catch you guys next time on Factorio. Peace.